Hello and welcome to Overcast Beckenham, where I'm going to put your Twitter questions to Breda Hangeland. But before that, uh, first of all, well done on your performance at the weekend. It's not often that the manager praises a, a centre-back for coming on and changing the game. No, that's true. Uh, it's been a while since I've played, so I was just really happy to be part of it and, and come on. And obviously the main thing is that we won the game. That's, that's what it's all about. I'm, I'm very much a team player and uh, I'm happy every time we win, whether I play or not. And that set piece goal was that something that had been worked on on the training ground? Uh, not worked on, but we talked about it that they were a little bit vulnerable at the back back post, and um, yeah, it worked out perfectly. So uh, and Joe Ledley, obviously happiest man alive when he scores a goal, so we're all all delighted for that win. He managed to master the knee slide this time, didn't he? It, didn't, it fell over a bit against Liverpool. I think that's been practiced a lot since that <laughs> <laughs> since that game. So uh, we hadn't practiced the set piece, but his celebration was spot on. Okay. Right, moving on to the questions from Twitter. Uh, can you guess what the majority of questions might have been about? I have a feeling there's one about my name in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, 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 it could be. Some, there's also, we had a few about what's the weather like up there. <laughs> yeah, snowing, okay, yeah, that's, that that's uh, what's very like creative. Above the clouds? <laughs> <laughs> it's generally the same as, as down where you are, but uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes you see a bit more, which, which is handy. That's a, it's a long journey to get to there, obviously, but uh, I do see some similarities between uh, Fulham uh, quite a few years ago and, and Palace now. I feel like Crystal Palace is, is very much a club uh, on the way up. There's, there's, uh, there's a good foundation here, but there's still uh, loads of room for improvement. So, uh, who knows? But I think we should keep our feet on the ground and, and try and focus on staying in the league first and foremost and, and take it from there. Very good question. Yes, I do like bread. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, that's the reason why I was named Breda. But uh, yeah, I do like bread. The, the problem is you can't have too much of it these days because uh, then uh, the people with the fat count come and smack you. So uh, yeah, but I do like it. You got a favourite loaf? I quite like a, a tiger bread. Do you? Uh, I like the Scandinavian bread, the rye bread. Uh, it's hard to, hard to source around these parts, uh, but uh, sometimes I find it. Okay, this one we had a few questions about. Uh, did you really stick cheese and port on your leg? True story. Uh, it is a tr true story. It wasn't cheese and port. It was a mixture of cream cheese and uh, alcohol, which uh, he asked me to stick on, on my knee. Uh, it's Felix McGat, by the way. I'm sure everyone knows the story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, I did that, and the next day it was actually a little bit better. But I think it was more because of the physiotherapy than the cheese and alcohol. <laughs> Uh, best, uh, best is probably me, I would have to say, and worst, you can take, take your pick. Uh, some of the tunes in the change room are horrendous. Um, I, feel, I have a feeling I'm probably just too old for it. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, I've had that question before. Yeah, I, I think, think it's it must... one of those common ones. Yeah, um, a hippo and a shark. Uh, I would back the hippo probably. Yeah. Yeah. Any reason why? I reckon you know power would would win over teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, great, that's all done. <laughs> Thank you very much.